Hi, Bruce from Safari, and this is part two on charging the silver line, and I'm gonna show you inside this time. But just explain about voltage drop. So this is a technical video for those that are interested. We've got the Scotty down the bottom there. We're idling now. The install in the vehicle was done by uh, another party. It wasn't done by us. They used a 16 millimeter squared cable. It is 48 volt, but we're now running on that um, up to 100 amps. And at the moment on the screen here, I'm seeing uh, 53 volts that we're churning out at the end here, at the set point. And if we come back here at the trailer plug, how are you today, Tom? Good, thanks, Bruce. Uh, Tom's got just on 50 here. So we've got a three volt drop on the 16 mil cable. Then we've done the install in the van and we've made it quite substantial coming in here. And let's have a look inside the van and um, we'll come back to the 48 volt system here in a minute. But in the van here, we're running at uh, 49.8. So we've got 0.2 of a volt drop, and I think we've got 35 mil squared from here to the front of the hitch, a three volt drop because the cable's undersized in the vehicle. And the importance of the cable sizing just cannot be emphasized enough for the high power, high current. Now under the seat here, we've got a 5,000 inverter, um, uh, six batteries in here, so that's uh, the equivalent to 1200 amp hours at 12 volt that we've got in there. That's 14.4 uh, kilowatt hours. It's quite significant in here. We've got the aircon running away. When he's driving down the highway, this will go up to a thousand. More than that, it'll go up to 1500 watts in here. So it'll run the aircon and charge the batteries at the same time. And I have to say, um, how good is that? 